All right, welcome to our section. This is going to be a section regarding getting started with IntelliTrace. So what are we going to cover in this particular section? Well, we're going to first look at and explain what IntelliTrace is. So everybody has a, a good definition and a good baseline from which we can start from in terms of what IntelliTrace is. Then we're going to move on to how does it fit into the whole ecosystem of Visual Studios and how developers fit it into their system. And then we're going to talk about the UI for IntelliTrace and how you go about navigating the UI. We'll go into live debugging, again showing you how to debug with F5. We're going to talk about symbol files and if you're not familiar with symbol files, that's okay. We're going to introduce you to those. Then we're going to move on to configuring the options for IntelliTrace. So there's a little bit of setup you may want to use so you can configure those and we're going to show you how. And lastly, we have the standalone collector and we're going to go in and show you how to use that standalone collector to collect data that you're going to receive from IntelliTrace. So with that, let's jump in and start talking about what is IntelliTrace. And in this particular video, we're going to describe to you what IntelliTrace is, we're going to introduce you to it. Later videos, we're going to actually dive into it where you're going to see how you can collect the data, how you can read the data, how you can configure it. So this whole section will be on IntelliTrace. So join us as we go through this journey. The first thing I want to go on to is actually talking about what are you going to learn? Well, we're going to start off with the history of IntelliTrace gone back for a number of years and we'll explain that and then we'll explain what IntelliTrace actually is. Actually I'll go into a demo on, in the demo environment and introduce you to the user interface for IntelliTrace. We're not going to do any configuration or stuff like that but that's all happening in future videos in this section. So there's about four or five videos we're going to put together for this section that are going to have all your IntelliTrace configuration and your collection and all that. So make sure you catch the rest of the videos. But for now, let's tell you where a little bit about history about IntelliTrace. So it was originally started in Visual Studio 2010 Ultimate, the highest level of Visual Studio you could buy at the time. In today's world, that's Visual Studio Enterprise 2017. This is not available in Community Edition you have to have Visual Studio 2017 Enterprise. So again, if, you're not, if you don't have it, you're not going to be able to use the functionality, but we have to talk about the functionality because it's so beneficial to teams that do have Visual Studio Enterprise uh, to take advantage of. And uh, what it was called was the historical debugger. So maybe some of you have heard of this, uh, the way in which you could actually go back in time and debug an application. So that's why they called it the historical debugger and it's since transformed into IntelliTrace. So uh, with that, let's talk about what IntelliTrace actually is. IntelliTrace allows developers or anyone who has access to the IntelliTrace file to debug managed code that was running in a production environment. So for example, I'm running my production code, customer comes to my website, site throws an exception, customers doesn't know what to do, Customer calls us, says, hey, you know, your site's not working, uh, gave me an error. The developers can take the IntelliTrace file off the production server. They can then open it up in Visual Studio 2017 Enterprise, and they can debug the application right there on their desktop as it would be have, had it been running in production at that time. So again, it's, it's like I say, historical debugging. It allows us to go back in time and debug the application from a past event. Again, it only works with managed code, so your .NET framework code would be fine. Uh, but again, it it's, it's really helps for when you're unable to reproduce uh, certain defects or, or errors, and so you want to go back and try and fix that, uh, fix that issue, you can actually use the IntelliTrace file for that. So with that, let's go into the demo environment. I just want to spark up uh, Visual Studio and show you the UI for IntelliTrace. So I'm back here in our demo environment and I have opened up the Mercury Health application. Mercury Health is an application we've been working on throughout our courses that we've been delivering to PACT. So in this particular course we're going to focus on the um, Mercury Health application once again. 
You'll notice here, bolded is the web. And if you notice in the uh, Solution Explorer on the right side there, we have the mercuryhealth.web project is set to, uh, it's bold, so that means it's set to startup project. So when we, we debug the application, it's going to fire it up, and it's going to run the application website, and we're going to be able to capture some data from that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go up, and I'm going to run the application, and I'll show you how the user interface looks for when we're talking about uh, historical data. So you'll see here on the right side we have the diagnostic tools window up and you can see it's gathering all kinds of data, event data, process memory, CPU. Um, you can see down here we have IntelliTrace events. So you can see we're capturing a lot of data here that we're going to be able to then dive into and, and look at if we run into exceptions or bottlenecks in the application. So it's not strictly for throwing an exception. In some cases, maybe you're running out of memory or your CPU is being pegged. Again, we'll talk more about all those topics in future videos in this section. Uh, but for now, let's just understand that the UI is there. It's called the Diagnostic Tools window. If you don't see the Diagnostic Tools window open, you can always go to the Debug menu in Visual Studio, go to the Windows, and select the uh, Show Diagnostic Tools option right here, or use Control-Alt-12, so whichever, or F2, I'm sorry, Control-Alt-F2, whichever works for you. So with that, I'm going to wrap back up, and we're going to then go on to future videos talking more about IntelliTrace. So what did you learn in this particular video? Well, we told you a little bit about the history of IntelliTrace, and we talked about what IntelliTrace is, as well as showed you the unit or interface to IntelliTrace in Visual Studio 2017 Enterprise. Again, remember, this is an enterprise level tool. This is not built into community edition, so don't go looking for it in community edition. You won't find it there. Uh, again, you're going to need a little bit more than just the community to, to use it. You're going to need the enterprise. Uh, but I think that it's well worth the, the investment to have a tool such as this if, in fact, you're running into certain issues where you need to be able to historical debug or debug those applications that were running in a production environment.